started again. Thank you guys all for reconnecting in. It looks like we are getting a few more people who are still connecting in. So um, we'll get them started and of course welcomed. But I do want to start on time and show our respect and honor to the Little Bighorn College team. I just want to take a minute to thank each and every one of them. Today was kind of a trying morning in that they lost electricity, as you guys know, and we weren't able to connect Elda in this morning to welcome you in the kickoff. So we're really, really excited that the electricity got back up, we got them connected, and we're just so grateful to have you here today. So with that, with no more my talking, I'm going to pass it over to the experts. Elda, it's you and your team. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to introduce uh, Dr. Emerson Bulchi. He's the Dean of Academics, and he's going to be giving the welcoming address for the Little Bighorn College. So go ahead, Emerson, if you're ready. Good afternoon, and uh, welcome to the Montana Tribal College Team Institute and, and Relations. I'm, uh, I'm new here at Little Bighorn College since November. Um, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure, uh, like I haven't been, I, I've been here on a Crow Reservation for a while, but it was uh, as the Tribal Historic Preservation Officer for the Crow Nation. And then uh, I, own, I own a couple of businesses that I've been doing that for the last three years. And with COVID and everything, I needed to find a day job. So I ended up uh, coming on board here at Little Bighorn College. Um, so it's my honor to welcome everyone to this important event to build bridges between Little Bighorn College and other institutions. Um, our goal here at the college, or my perceived goal here at the at Little Bighorn College is to grow our students so they're prepared for either immediate employment after graduation or to continue on to a four-year degrees. I'm a kind of a product of that myself. Um, I, I started uh, way back in 1993 at Montana State. I didn't know what I was doing. And I came back to Little Bighorn College for a couple of years, kind of got my bearings straight, figured out what I wanted to do in my career and uh, um, went back to MSU. I didn't graduate here, but I went back to MSU. Um, our, our team here at Little Bighorn College is uh, they're pretty professional people. They, so far from what I've seen and my interactions with everyone here at the, at the college is that everyone is really uh, up to speed and everything. They're always telling me, you need, you know, what I need to do. So that's good. So with that, uh, again, welcome. And I will hand it off back to Alda. Thank you. Sorry, Elda, we have you on mute. Oh, there okay. you go. Thank you, Emerson. The next one I want to introduce, I would like to introduce is okay. Patricia Whiteman. And she's our Dean of Students and she knows a lot more all our uh, activities going on right on campus. So Patricia. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Patricia Whiteman. I'm Dean of Students here at Little Bighorn College. Um, good to see all of you today. Um, like we said, we were a little worried this morning. Our power was off, um, so I'm glad we're here. Um, little Bighorn College, I've worked here for a while, but I think it's a good start for students. Um, I always try to point out that uh, our student organizations are pretty um, active when we're not in a pandemic. <laughs> um, our tuition is fairly um, affordable. <clears throat> Our class ratios are pretty small. Um, we have a lot of things going on on campus. We just started a high step program um, last spring. So we're hoping to see those students come in as students. Um, let's see what else do we want to talk about? Um, we like all the, um, Emerson said, we have a really good team here. I am very, very happy with faculty because they have really pulled together and continued their classes 
through, uh, through the pandemic, essentially, with um, the help of American Indian College Fund and um, different entities like that, our, our, our faculty is really, really helping our students. And um, we are up for accreditation. Um, so we're in the mid, we uh, did our mid cycle evaluation. So now we're going to be, um, we got approval from them for online courses. So we have a lot of students interested in that. Um, so I think that we're going to come out a little better after the pandemic. I'm excited um, for graduation this year. I'm excited for summer classes. I'm excited for next fall. Um, and I hope our enrollment continues to increase. We did see an increase with the pandemic, probably because we were online, um, I'm assuming. Um, but since we're doing reporting now and um, we have to do reporting, so we'll, we'll have um, some statistics on that. But um, otherwise, I just want to say LBHC is a good start. Most of our employees, if not all of them, have um, attended here. Most of them have graduated here. I'm like Emerson, I didn't graduate here and I went on, but I'm sure if I had uh, credits coming back in, I could get a degree. Emerson, we need to check on that. Um, so I just wanna say Little Bitcoin is a great place to be. Um, one thing that I find that we are a little more unique than other colleges is that a lot of our meetings and a lot of our interaction with the faculty, we're all done in the Crow language. So it's very common to walk in and hear somebody talking Crow or having a meeting and we talk Crow. And um, I just think that's, that's awesome. So um, I feel like that's one thing that we offer. We're different that way. Um, we have a lot of the culture classes here. Um, the library is a very good resource for us. So if you have time, go online. Our library has their own website. Um, we have a lot of uh, archives in the library online. You could see a lot of pictures. There's treaty information on there. A lot of South um, Eastern Montana history and just get online, check it out, see what you think, and um, I said welcome. It's good to see you all. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, the next one is Misty McCormick. She's the admissions officer, and then also Erica Turnsway. She's the admissions assistant. So, Misty, will you be ready? Misty? Yes, we're ready. Okay. All right, take it up. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Misty McCormick. I'm the admissions clerk here at Little Big Horn College. I'm Erica Transplany, the admissions assistant. And we were kind of doing a rerun earlier and trying to bring up our information to share how we reach out to students now. With this uh, pandemic, we were able to develop uh, more of like a online application and having our um, forms available through our Cloud RAM student portal. But we're having te technical difficulties as everybody knows. <laughs> So we tried to pull it up earlier with Emily, but we were not able to. So um, we're gonna, Emily, we're gonna put that up later on, right? Okay. So this is um, the main official website for LBHC and this is our admission section. And um, there was a link, if you were to click on this, ad LBHC admissions application. Usually the Cloud RAM student portal would pop up and that's how we um, have our incoming freshmen, transfers, anybody who's interested in, in attending LBHC, this is where they would go. So uh, unfortunately we didn't get to have our, our material available, but um, this is our new 
way of having people apply at Little Bitcoin College. So like our declaration of majors on there, our zero tolerance forms on there. If we need to have some, if somebody needs to request a, a official high school transcript, that's on there. Uh, college transcripts usually are kind of on the person's own personal basis. They have to request it from their previous college attended. Um, what else did we add? Oh, anything with our student services, with the students that have disabilities, there's a, that's where you'll get connected with Jade Three Irons. And that's, oh, yay. <laughs> Emily, yes, thank you. Okay, so this is our CloudGram student portal. So this is where we have people, we um, either they contact us through email or they come in person or um, over the phone, we give them this site here. It's the CloudRound LBHC student portal. This is our checklist of items that they'll need to um, send to us, submit to us, I guess you would say. So there's our zero tolerance credit waiver form if they don't wanna use their um, credits that they use that um, are attempted at a different college. And then if you click on, go ahead and, <laughs> I'm trying to grab my mouse. <laughs> so if you go to the admissions application, see that Emily? Is that you Emily doing that, right? Or who's doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's me. It is, okay. Let's see if it actually, I don't, I got this far. It took a long okay. time to load, right. so it well, may go. How, okay, so if you're to go to the admissions application, it'll take you into a new. Anyway, so we converted all of our hard copies and stuff over to this site and, um, this has been really convenient and we're able to have people from out of state. We've had this past semester, we've had people out of state that were able to take our courses, especially with the pro studies. So that's been neat and different for us and is really happy to have all these new people from across the nation coming and attending Little Bitcoin College. It was kind of exciting. Huh? Mm, it was different. Yeah, so, oh yeah. Okay, so we don't, I mean, we don't really have to go through the whole application, but you can click on it, go for it. It must be. Um... <laughs> I feel like the lag time is okay, telling us so it's not anyway, gonna go. It's <laughs> kind of where it'll take you to. So, um, but that's kind of been our experience with the since the pandemic happened, and it's been a journey for us in admissions, but we got it going good now, and we're we've been excited for each semester because we never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> But we for, we feel prepared, so. Did you want to add anything? Um, no. <laughs> I think you covered everything. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little skit we want to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Thanks everybody, and we're happy to be a part of the meeting. So. Any questions? Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Elda. <laughs> Thank you. You guys did a good job, though. You guys did a great job going through all this pandemic, so I'm just proud of you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Elda. All right, the next.
is uh, our financial aid director, Beverly Snell. So Beverly, are you there ready to talk? Beverly? I might have to go check on her, but uh, Bertina, are you on? Yes, I am. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and start and I'll go check on Beverly? Okay. All right. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I am Bertina Nomi. I'm the workforce navigator here at Little Bighorn College. I also wear another hat as the WIOA director. Um, I oversee our trades program. We have a one-year certificate in the highway construction program, which consists of heavy equipment in the fall and then CDL offered in the spring semester. Then we also have, um, we had signed an MOU with MSU Northern for a new program, pilot program that we have which is um, the building maintenance program. And that consists of plumbing, electrical, HVAC, carpentry, and then some gen ed courses. And so since we still don't have um, instructors for those, our MOU with MSC Northern is that they teach the plumbing and electrical courses that had started back in February and they are almost done as a 10 week course uh, and they're, they're located in Billings. On Tuesday nights is the plumbing course, six to 10 for their labs. And then Wednesdays is the electrical and that's also at six to 10. So hold on, let me, I have, um, our instructor that I wanted him to give you some highlights. Let me see if he's back in his office. Hold on. While they're grabbing a few folks to carry on, I would encourage you guys to post any questions in the chat if you have anything in particular for the Little Big Harn College team to address. Obviously, they've got a great team of representatives today, so a lot of wealth of information. So post your questions. With that, it looks like Elda's back. So I'll pass back to you, Elda. Thank you. Beverly's getting ready, so she'll be on as soon as uh, uh, our students will be talking. So um. Okay, Nathaniel's Elise, not back oh. from, um, he stepped out of his office. I just wanted him to give you um, highlights of our students, but hold on, Nathaniel. Yeah. All right, he's here. I'm gonna go ahead and have him talk to you about uh, the program for the highway construction. No, no. What are, we, what are we talking about? Oh, just tell them about your students that they, they just passed their studio. And let's oh, okay. talk about the highway construction program. Okay, I don't know where to begin on the highway construction program. As far as that, we are in the CDL program part. And they got the whole semester to get their CDL, so it's quite a stretch, so they got plenty of time. And we had two students who tested last week, so they both passed. We got good word from the DMV as well. They liked the program, how it's set up, and how the students went in there and got some pretty high scores on their testing. So they like how the program's running. They thought we... Um, ended our program because we haven't been in all year, late last year. But I just told him we were, uh, we only run the program in the, uh, in the spring. So now they're aware of that part. So they kind of missed us. But the program, it's, it's, it's a pretty good program. Uh, one instructor, so we're kind of limited students. We take 10 students. Uh, let's see what we got, two trucks or trailers. So they got different variety of trailers on the pool. We teach them um, how to like a little bit of maintenance on them, like uh, how to how to adjust their brakes, how to hook up the trailers, disconnect, a lot of skills tests, a lot of pre-trip tests, and they get a lot of drive time, definitely a lot of drive time. So they leave here with more than 40 hours, unlike uh, like other schools, you leave with 40 hours uh, 
drive time. So tell them about that, about the events. So and I'll jump into the uh, summer summer programs. We usually do like an advanced trucking or advanced uh, heavy equipment. So we, we utilize both of both aspects of our program. And like we get access to gravel pits. So we get to take some gravel pits, some gravel to um, certain individuals lanes like the handicap or doubters. Um, so that part we help out as well. And we have a list of names that we uh, we got a little list here. Maybe it's going to continue to grow, but I hope it does. It helps. It's like good training for the students on how to haul the gravel and how to back them to the wind rolls and certain things to get them uh, set up for if they want to do construction during the summer. So they'll know what to kind of do once they start uh, job searching. Because some of them can just do like on the road trucking. You have you usually have a sign on bonus for that too. But they get to keep you for a couple of years or whatever amount the, the sign on people are. But, yeah, as far as that, we do um, trucking programs. Uh, it, it's it's gone a long way since I've been here. Anyway, it's I like it. It's it's only going further. But that's as far as I'm as I got to share this morning. Thank you. I was on mute the whole time. I'm just oh, <laughs> don't scare me like that. Okay, I know we have a five minute limit. Um, I. So I'm just going to tell a little bit about the WIO program, and then we'll um, give the floor to Beverly. On the WIO, the um, purpose of the WIO program is to help low-income families to no income, is to help them overcome their barriers, whether if they're going for their high set or they're um, even, even through um, high, for high school students, just helping them overcome barriers, uh, prevention of trying to keep them in school, not only in high school, but also college. And um, we also have the summer youth program to help the youth ages, I believe uh, 14 through 24 and once they complete their, all the high school students, the seniors, we try to recruit them over to Little Bighorn College. And then once they come to Little Bighorn, the services is still continued in helping them with transportation, um, getting their driver's license, um, also paying for the CDL exam fees. So the WIOR program is a big plus for Little Bighorn College and the programs that we do have. So that's all I have. Um, so if you have any questions. If not, we'll pass the baton over to Beverly. Thank you, everyone. Beverly, are you ready? Jade, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh -huh. Jade is the director for the Student Success Program. And so he works closely with most of the students. So after that, can you introduce the students? Yeah. All right, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Jade Jarns. I'm the Student Success Director. And here at the center, we offer for students computer access, printing, copying, faxing, we also do tutoring and mentoring. We also have the high side office here and the lady that runs it, her name is Jennifer Morissette. And I'll drop, I believe she has a Facebook page up. I can drop that in the comments. We also have student success Facebook page. And we do bulletin board that has career opportunities, internships, scholarships, and also work with a first time freshman, first time advisement and AccuPlacer tests. And right now we're doing the COVID assistance, which is like food cards, uh, helping with utilities and books, laptops. 
And I think that's about it. And the students that we're gonna talk, I believe is Kaylee Cummins, Angela Hogan. I'm not sure if those other two girls are gonna do it too. Edith Big Lake and Angela Hogan. Alyssa, are you ready? Edith, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead, uh, Edith. Okay, so I should I put the video on or the show my face? Go ahead if you can, Edith. Okay. Uh, my name is Edith Big Lake. I'm majoring in biology right now at Little Bighorn College. And one of the main reasons I chose to come to Little Bighorn College is um, I always heard that LBHC gave you good opportunities if you choose to do your education, like going to a university and stuff. And I, I really I think we were having some challenges, Edith. We heard the first portion of that, but I think that we lost the tail end of that amazing statement. And we really appreciate you jumping on and giving us a student perspective. Oh, I'm... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, you didn't hear the whole thing. No, you did good. Okay. <laughs> Elda, do you, that was really great to have Edith here. Did you say you had a couple other students too that wanted to share? Yes, uh, Alyssa Hogan, Angela Hogan, and Kaylee Cummins. And uh, whoever's ready, go ahead. If you're not ready, we can move to Beverly and come back to you, ladies. So Beverly, are you on? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Beverly. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Beverly Snow. I'm the financial aid director here at Little Bitcoin College. And since this pandemic, we and the virtual learning and stuff, I haven't helped a lot of students because some of them have, uh, don't have computers and internet. When we first started, we had a new system, like an appointment system. Before, we never had that. And this appointment system is pretty good. And, but some of them have to come in and it's hard for them to go anyplace else. And sometimes I have to help them through the phone too, so. And with all that, we only had a few uh, scholarships and they're all online too. And it was hard for them to apply, but we had a few that applied and I think that's about it. But other than that, we had a few students that applied for financial aid. We're down from the previous years because of this 
pandemic, but I hope we can get more. This we start in the summer helping them, but I haven't really helped anybody this past summer, and but I'm hoping to get more. So that's about it. If you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Any of the students ready? Angela or Lisa? Kaylee? Yeah, I can go. Oh, shoot. All right, Kaylee, thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Kaylee Cummins, and I currently attend Little Bighorn College. I'll be graduating this spring with an associates in Crow Studies and another in Native American Studies. Um, this fall, I'll be transferring to the University of Montana to pursue a bachelor's degree in anthropology. So I chose LBHC because when I graduated high school, I really didn't have a good idea of what career path I wanted to go down and I didn't have a plan. And I also was not ready and didn't feel prepared to attend a university right out of high school. So LBC really gave me the chance and time to figure out what I wanted to do because it really is a big choice for an 18 year old straight out of high school to make. Um, and it really did help me build my confidence and kind of ease into the world of higher education because it really can be intimidating at times. And also if I had attended a university straight out of high school, I really do not know if I would have done as well as I have here at the college. And now I have figured out what I want to do. I've developed a plan and I actually feel prepared and excited to attend a university. Um, smaller classes were also a plus for me because you get more individual attention and one-on-one -on -one time from your instructors and classes weren't intimidating because they're smaller. Um, I was able to ask more questions, felt comfortable asking questions and kind of learned at my own pace because again, they're smaller classes and they're not intimidating. Um, I was also able to relate a lot to my peers because we have had similar experiences as indigenous people and I was related to a lot of my classmates. So yeah, um, and it's very close to home. It's located right in the middle of our community. It was very accessible for me and I personally didn't feel comfortable or ready to move away from home. Um, it was a great choice for me and any other students who felt who would feel the same way. I was surrounded by people from my community, like my peers, um, faculty and staff. I wasn't just thrown into a totally different, new and unfamiliar environment because I was still home on a reservation. So it was great. I really enjoyed my time here at the college and it was super beneficial to my academic career. And it is for a lot of people who have studied here. And I'm very thankful to have attended here and the opportunities it's opened up for me. That's all I have. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, Kaylee is also our student of the year too. So congratulations, Kaylee. And then she's also um, internship under the Title III program too. So she's done a great job. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, Alyssa or Angela? Oh, you got you ladies ready? Alyssa or Angela? Uh, Alda? Yeah. Uh, Alyssa and Angela, or Angela can't get on, so he was going to go through Alyssa's, but Alyssa's mic and camera aren't working. Okay, have her go ahead and maybe Angela can come to my office. She can get online with me here. Should we go on yours? Or if it's okay, they can um, jump onto mine since yeah, I'm right. Go ahead. right up. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and start. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Alyssa Hogan. And what are you doing? Oh. Uh, my name is Alyssa Hogan, and I am currently majoring in liberal arts and attending Little Bighorn College. The reason why I chose to attend Little Bighorn College is because it's an easier transition to a bigger university. So, 
and also for someone like a student who doesn't have a lot of money, it's cheaper. Um, and um, after Little Bighorn College, I plan on attending Montana State University and doing a doctor in film and theater arts. That's it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Angela Hogan, and I'm currently attending LBHC, and I'm majoring in um, human services. Um, I, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, I chose to come here because um, I just heard it was a easier transition to a university because I plan on going to MSU Bozeman after I after I graduate from LDHC. Um, and and um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Lisa, are you ready? Lisa. Lisa, are you on now? Lisa's not able to get on line with her, so she's going to come down to my office. But in the meantime, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, say just a little bit. I just want to, uh, I'm so glad to be working at Little Bighorn College. I'm the uh, community outreach and also the first year student coordinator. So going through all that, I know all the colleges and tribal colleges have the same common uh, difficulties that we've been going through all year. And, um, and so we've been trying to be creative in recruiting and meeting people online. So for me, as you can tell, I'm still learning. As you can tell, I was still looking for the, <laughs> the camera on top of my computer. <laughs> so anyway, so stuff like that, that we've been going through, but um, here's Lisa, so she can go ahead and start. You can just start. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Letha Gunshows, and I'm the director for the Title III program. And um, what my program does is um, we have professional development for staff and faculty for continuation credits and for them to attend trainings, workshops. And then um, we hire tutors, uh, students that apply, they have to have a 3.0 or better. And um, it was just very difficult during the uh, pandemic. Um, we didn't have our tutor nights, no homework nights. And um, right now I have a tutor and she's been working on getting on Google Meets to help students. And uh, we hire TAs, they're called technical assistants. Right now I have five at the Health and Wellness Center. Then I have one at the faculty. And then for the tutors, we have uh, strong recommendations from faculty for tutors. 
in uh, they've been doing really good. I help with career fair with ELDA orientation. Um, I like working with our students here at the college. I do a lot of recruit recruiting and um, a big part of the uh, Title III is the library enhancement too. Uh, they order books, periodicals, subscriptions. And um, fall, it was just hard. Uh, I finally got a tutor and for spring semester, we kind of limit our students coming into Title III, like maybe one or two. So it's been very slow, but we're doing the best we can to help our students. So I think that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. Um, I just wanted to continue what I was saying, but I didn't, I wanted to give uh, the people that are listening that we are located in the southeastern part of Montana and uh, we're close to the uh, Bighorn Mountains, part of the Rocky Mountains. And we're adjacent, really close to the Northern Cheyenne um, tribe also. And so we, we have, there's a high school there. So right now there's about five or six high schools that we continue to um, recruit the, with the students. And then there's one small high school uh, near, uh, close to Wyoming that we've been working with closely too. So hopefully we can recruit a couple students there and uh, and the only thing that we can do right now is to, to keep communicating with the schools and with the counselors and the, uh, whoever's the uh, outreach program that they have to get our desired out outcome with the Little Bighorn College enrollment. And right now with our student support services, we work really well together. And I'm so fortunate with the people that I'm working with right now. And um, like I was saying, we have to do creative, and I'm sure all the tribal colleges are like that too, uh, being creative and recruiting students and trying to contact people over the uh, phones and email. So uh, for once, I'm continually, continually on the email and on the <laughs> sites. I've never been like that. I, I was always at the high schools and trying to re recruit students and meeting them, but not now since it's so limited because of the social distancing and uh, all, all that, our next goal is to uh, take, uh, set up tables at the schools. Uh, we won't be there, but we're kind of giving this uh, job to the uh, outreach people uh, at the high school so that they could give the information out and uh, set our information there for, um, I think next week. So next week would be like kind of a recruiting uh, time for all of us. Too. So if you have any questions, please let us know. And um, uh, I just appreciate this time to uh, meet with everybody. So thank you. Thank you so very yeah. much, Alda and the LBH team.